There's a winner's. Hey, hey, bro. <laughs> Shit, he's almost jumping in the boat. Hey guys, and welcome back to another drift fishing video. Roadside at the moment. Got a nice little lake here. I'm gonna push in, put the kayak in, and uh, go find some rainbows. The little lures I'm using are by Jackson. Um, I've got a selection of them from Option Tackle, and I'm gonna give those a, those a run today. They look dynamite. I can't wait to see how, how effective they are. I've been using Rapalas previously, and they've worked really well. These ones dive a little bit deeper. They're sinking, they cast further, so. Yeah, I reckon they're going to be the treat today, guys. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Rainbows from the kayak on lures. Enjoy. Let's get a shit on the road. Beauty of this little kayak, though, is it fits in a nice little bag in the back of the car. You use it, you use it. If you don't, it's not stuck on your roof all day. And it doesn't take too long to set up either, which is pretty cool. Alright, let's push through. Uh, out of the jungle. Alright, so which one are we going to go first, guys? I reckon. I'm going to go this bad boy. Jackson Canardi. So, what are you? 60 mil, 8 gram sinking. Looks the goods. Check that out. Check out the colours. If that doesn't slay them, I don't know what will. Man, it's got some weight to it for a little lure. This will definitely get down to depth. Because we're after lunch now, so they're not going to be too high up. They'll probably drop down a little bit. Which is perfect, because this, this little lure here will get right down. And hopefully, get out some fish. So the beauty of sinking hard-bodied lures like this one is apart from the obvious you get a much further cast, it just gives you more flexibility to work more depth as well, whereas some of the other ones that are floating, just had a hit, some of the floating ones you're not going to be able to get down beyond what they're actually rated to. You know, they're rated to one meter, that's it, that's as far as you're going to get. You know, oh, that was a hit. Yeah, you can adjust, you can adjust the rate let them um, sink a bit longer and then work them at another at another depth so you can work a, a four meter depth off a bank you know or a five meter depth just by allowing it to sink that little bit longer and slowing down the retrieve a little bit as well man these things cast so far oh, the sun's nice but, hey, there we go there we go fish on yeah nice that's an awesome take just smashed it. Yeah, buddy. Always like getting a fish on, on the cast and retrieve. I mean, the trolling's fun, but um, cast and retrieve's always, always good fun. Ah, come on, net. Oh, he's not a huge fish, but uh, she, I should say. Oh, good bow. Yeah, like I said, it's a stocked lake. So they're only small trout. But they're fun, you know? Alright, where we go, girl? Ew. How good was that? Fish on straight away. That is an awesome sinking diving lure, guys. Seriously. You just sort of got to feel the action to, to know how effective it is. It is really, really good. Go get a couple more, eh? And I'll change over and try a different one. These things swim so well. Oh, man, they cast stupidly long. Such a relaxing way to fish these lakes from Kai. It's like the ultimate lazy boy way of fishing. There's no wading, none of that shit to deal with. You don't rock up and there's six cars in the car park, you have the whole lake to yourself. That's what fishing's all about, getting away from the world, getting out there, doing your thing. Just paddling over to another spot, put the lure out the back, 15 seconds, fish on. <laughs> That's good fishing, guys. That's what you want. Ah, it's just a little one. 
just a little one. There we go. That didn't take long at all. It's funny, you'll get like, sometimes they'll chase it and they'll tap it and tap it. And all you gotta do is pause it just for a second and then give it a twitch and then they smash it. So they're just bumping it. Yeah, that sort of pause and then just give it a quick little rip. Always works really well. Just must make them think it's trying to get away or something. Yes, yeah, so you don't see a lot of lure fishing um, for trout in New Zealand. You do in the South Island, but up here it tends to be more, more fly. Um, but there's no reason you can't lure fish, the, fish for them. And a lot of the times, you'll catch a lot more fish actually on lures than you will on fly. And that's, that's probably why there's a lot of fly only systems um, for that reason as well, you know, because the, um, the lure fishing will just clean up. I mean, if you know, you're allowed to lure fish on the Tongariro or something, oh man, it'll just be pff, fish a cast, you know. But if you're doing it on fly, there's so many other technicalities that sort of come into it with you getting your drift right, getting your flies at the right depth, and all, all the other variables that come into play when you're fly fishing. Whereas lure fishing's simple, chuck your lure out, you bring it back in. Or chuck it out, let it sink, bounce it over a few rocks, and you know, fish on. After you've fished a few, a few rivers for trout, you'll see they're just absolute suckers for lures. But don't get me wrong, I do love my fly as well, and I will, I will do fly fishing most of the time, but occasionally, just for, to change it up, I'll chuck a few lures around. Oh, 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 oh. Fish on. That feels like a good fish. That took it on the sink, believe it or not. Oh, when these things sink, they've got like a, a rocking action, a bit like a jig. This one, no shit, took it on the sink. Ooh. This does feel like a better fish. So I'm just gonna take it easy. Still not a bad fish though. Scoffed it though. You, yeah, boy, fish on. Man, this guy's got some go. Not a huge fish, but uh. Definitely doesn't want to come in. It's all right, man. I'm not going to eat you, bro. I'm just going to let you go. Quick photo, photo shoot, get your makeup done. You know, do a few poses. And then you're back in the water in no time. That is a cool looking trout, though. That is a real cool looking trout. There we go, guys. Beautiful rainbow. Okay, well that lure works. Let's go try a different one. Yeah, Meteora. 6.3 mils, 7.5 grams sinking. Yeah, this one looks like you might even be able to have a bit of a vibe action on it. Yeah, that's a cool looking lure. Like. Okay. Meteora is going to get a spin. Miles. I should almost hit a bird. A little swallow just flew along. I swear I almost hit it. Yeah, now a lot of these are uh, Japanese lures. They got so much precision in the action, so much testing that goes in, as opposed to your, your cheaper Chinese manufactured ones. Um, and they just catch more fish. They really do. You know, people don't realise that the, the subtleties in, um, in lure design, and it is really in all that action. I mean, some of the other ones might look good. But they just won't catch fish as well. Bump, 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 just had a hit. He's had a couple of bumps on that first cast. Let's see if we can't get a couple more now. Good fish. Good fish. Jumping fish. There we go, even this one's producing. Oh, these lures are winners. Hey, hey, bro. Hey, 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 hey. Shit, he's almost jumping in the boat. Oh, that is awesome. That's a good fish too. That is a good fish. For in here anyway. 
That is a nice fish. Oi, bro. Man, this thing's on steroids. It's got nuts. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. There we go. Now you can relax, man. Nice fish. That little bad boy there is a sick little lure. That's the way to do it. Phew, what a session. What a session.